swag team homies we released by what the f yo this bro i swear to god yo this dude just hey, be yo. showing up i'm trying to be <laughs> what the f i'm trying to record an attribute update and this dude just shows up bro what the hell anyway what's good swag team homies zombie gang homies it's your boy stack spawn turn man back out here with the six guard himself Killer Care Baker, man. A lot of you guys was requesting. Denver, if you don't leave, no, bro. No, nobody even told you to come over here, dog. Like, but anyway, a lot of you guys was requesting an attribute update. So here we go, man. Here we go, man. Last time I showed you guys, I think it was like a 72 overall. And um, I had I had to go ahead and upgrade, man. I, I wanted to hit the park. Can't be out there hitting the park with no trash, my player. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and get into this thing. First of all, I'm going to show you guys my my court or my shed or my backyard. Bro, first of all, this side right here, if you look through the top window, like we in the projects. This side look like we just, I, I don't know. But what where, where the hell are we, dog? I, bro, I don't even know what this is, but hey, it's mine, goddammit. But anyway, I decorated a little bit. I changed the floor up, changed the, um, the wall right here up. And I signed that deal with Nike, so you know I got them Nikes on deck. Cuz I got some Jordans in there too, but for the most part, I got a whole bunch of Nikes, man. I'm happy I signed with Nike. I'm gonna be making them cam guides soon, so be on the lookout for those. But let's go ahead and get into this update. Now, it won't be an attribute update if you don't show the attributes right. So, as you can see, I got a lot of things maxed out my shoot off dribble. Layups and dunks, mid-range shooting, three-point shooting, agility, playmaking, and defender is halfway maxed out. So those are the things I got right now. I'm a 92 overall. And the reason I did that, because I remember at one point I was balling with a 55 overall. Trust and believe. Then I think I went ahead and upgrade to 72. But then I'm like, man, I got all of these available upgrades, man. It don't make no sense to just be sitting on them. Especially since I wanted to start hitting the park and I'm not about to go out there in the park. With those 72 overall, I, I, bro, I trust me, I seen the videos. Niggas angles is getting broken out there, bro. I ain't want no parts of it. Okay, I ain't want no parts of it. So, um, uh, yeah, I'm rocking with the 92 overall. I I still gotta upgrade my defense. My defense aren't the best, but I'm gonna show you guys what my attributes are with the boost on it. And I do have a a, a six eight 206 pound um sh um uh, shot creator small four. So yeah, now let's go into them badges. Now here go the badges I've earned. By the way, I don't play on any other difficulty than Hall of Fame. All of the badges that I have, all the badges that I earned, I got them all on the Hall of Fame. I know it doesn't really matter if you got a Hall of Fame or Rookie or whatever, but I'm just proud to say that I did get all of my badges on Hall of Fame. So I got Acrobat, Relentless Finisher. The first upgradable badge that I got was Difficult Shots. So I went ahead and upgraded that one to Gold. I got Catch and Shoot. And then I ended up getting Ankle Breaker, dog. And I didn't get it the way a lot of people getting it. Like, you got to get double move lead to, like, assist. or No, I don't know. Bro, I end up doing a crossover and got a layup. And then I end up getting ankle breaker. So, yeah, got that. Uh, I got Dimer. I got pick and roll. Maestro, defensive stopper. I ended up getting this badge from playing park. I didn't even know that was possible, dog. Like, I was playing park. I exited the park. And then this just popped up on my screen once I got back to my mic court. It was crazy. Um, I got pick dodger, brick wall, bruiser, lob city finisher, one man fast break, and then the personality badges. I got alpha dog, enforcer. You already know, bro. I'm playing physical out here. Expressive. I stay talking that trash. Microwave. <laughs> Self-explanatory. And then I got spark plug, so which is pretty dope. Then I'm going to go show you guys my attributes with the boost on them. So shot close to 99. Um, overshot mid-range 85 and contested 85 as well, which is super dope. Like contested mid-range is 85, bro. The league average, well, the league position average for, for small four is 71, so that's pretty dope. Overshot three and my contested shot three is where things start to fall off a little bit. But as you can see, if I shoot off the dribble, which means if I take a dribble move or I take one of those leaning type of shots, my attribute then goes up to a 94. So if I'm leaning when I'm taking that three, that's a 94 uh, three-point rating, dog. That's pretty dope right there, man. Shot IQ. My free throw is still on 68. I'm working on my free throw, trying to get that up. Layups and dunks on 90. Well, layup, standing layups on 90. I'm um, driving layups on 85. Standing dunk on 88. Driving dunk is 81. Contact contact dunk is 74, which isn't bad at all. Draw foul 61. Ball control. My ball control is on 77, dog. Got 77 ball control. Still out here getting these buckets, man. 
still out here breaking these angles, man. Um, court vision, passing all the stuff, post control. I didn't work on my post stuff yet, but that's going to be up soon. On ball defense IQ, I'm still working on my defense. So as you can see, it was like a 66 before, but with the boost, all of my defense and stuff goes up to 71. Which isn't bad, and I'm going to keep upgrading it, so it's going to go up even higher. Hustle is on 84. Lateral quickness on 62. I'm still working on my defense. Don't judge me. But my speed is at 81. Speed with the ball drops down to 78. But I still think that's pretty dope for a small four, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't really beat that. Vertical reaction time is 99. And I got that 99 stamina, man. Make sure you go watch my video on how to make more shots in my park and in my career. And I'm going to show you guys how to get this 99 stamina. Um, intangibles, potential overall durability. So that's pretty much it for the badges and my actual attributes. Now let's go look at my dribble moves and such. All right, so for my jump shot, I do have Lance Stevenson. I'm liking the way they set it up this year. We can still see the overall, the, the name, the number, and the play type. Height, all of that stuff, position, all of that stuff still on the screen while you're looking at all the stuff. And then you gotta, gotta search through it as well. You can scroll down. The only way my jump shots is Lance Stevenson. Free throws, Kent Bazemore. I just went with that one. I just like the stance how he do before the free throw. And then go ahead and put that thing up. The release is super easy. Contested shots is on Stephen Curry. Like, I think you gotta be stupid. Your contested shots isn't on Stephen Curry. Dribble pull ups on Kevin Durant. Spin jumpers on Lance Stevenson, man. I'm liking Lance Stevenson animations. My hop jumps is on Isaiah Cannon, but I might be changing that soon. I haven't really been creating that much space with this one. I just like the way it looks. It looks dope, but I might be changing it. Post fadeaways on Michael Jordan. If it ain't on Michael Jordan, then you're stupid. Uh, post, hook, post hook is hook two. Uh, hop shot is hop shot seven. Shimmy shot one. Protect the ball jumper one. So that's pretty much it for all my NBA shots. Now we're going to go to the celebration. And for my um three celebration, I got the, yeah, I, I didn't really change stuff up that much. I just got it for all directions. It doesn't really matter to me that much. So, yeah, I'm just going to scroll through those right quick. And there you go. Now for my, um, we did shot. Now we're going to go to layups and dunks. For my dunk package, I got Dominique Wilkins. You already know, bro. I'll be flexing with that Dominique Wilkins dunk package. I haven't really decided if I was going to get another one yet or not. But, yeah, I'm rocking with that Dominique one right now. For my layups, I got the LeBron James layup package. I really like his layup because it kind of like avoids contact a little bit. Like you go around them when you do. I don't know. It's hard to explain. I had did a couple of LeBron James layup animations when I was doing layups, and it was pretty dope. He kind of avoided the contact and everything. Now the LU um, animations, I got those as well. I got both for those LU one and LU two. And then for contact dunks, I got big man contact dunks. Which is still pretty dope. It don't really look like big man dunks. This is like regular contact dunks. Well, some of them do. But other ones is like regular contact dunks, which is pretty dope. Um, now we're going to go to the NBA dribble moves. Iso crossovers. I got Elite 2. Remember, I got that 77. Well, it's really 72, but with the boost, it's 75. A ball control. So I got Elite 2 crossovers. Iso behind the back. I got Elite Four. I'll be elite with my dribble moves, cuz. Um, ISO spin is on elite one. ISO hesitation is normal one. Um, rhythm dribbles. I got Zach Levine. I did have Damian Lillard at one point. Wasn't really feeling it, so I switched over to Zach Levine. Um, elite um, basic size up. I got elite two. Um, um, hesitation in and out. I got Dwayne Wade. I had elite two at one point. Don't really like that one. I like Dwayne Wade's a little better. Uh, ISO crossover combo got Chris Paul. I had Stephen Curry's, I think, at one point. I think I had Stephen Curry's, but yeah, I got Chris. No, I had J.R. Smith's at one point. J.R. Smith's is not that good. So I got Chris Paul's because it's super fast. Stephen Curry's is super fast as well. I don't know. I might switch between Stephen Curry's and Chris Paul's. Uh, between the late size of combos, I got Damian Lillard. In my opinion, this is the best one in the game. Kyrie's is pretty dope as well. But uh, I really I really like Damian Lillard's, man. Uh, behind the back combo moves. I got that Jamal Crawford, that Jamal, Jamal. I also got that Elite, man. That Elite one looking pretty dope, too. I might actually leave it on the Elite for right now before I decide to switch things up anymore. These the endorsements that I have right now. I have Spalding. Um, I still, I think I got one more event to do for Spalding before that one is done. I got Foot Locker. I'm still on the first one. Um, I got Nike. I'm on the second compensation for that one. And then for 2K, I'm still on the first one. So I'm, I'm trying to work my way up. You know what I'm saying? Now, here's a look at the squad. I went to the My Minutes menu. Justice Young is an 89 overall, bro. This dude is straight cheese, but he trash. Look at this open shot mid range 99. Open shot three is 99, bro. 
his free throw 98, his standing layup is 93, um, but his driving layup is 99, bruh. 99, like, well, how can he be so good, but we can't be that good? Like, oh my God, it's crazy. Ball control, 99. What the hell is going on? You got 93 hands. You got some more stuff that's probably 90. On ball defense, like, 99. Like, look at his pick and roll, 90. Look at, oh my God, bruh. All of these 99 stats seem still trash. Shot contest, 90. you got 99 still, bro. Like, what the hell? Uh, lateral quickness is on 99. 98 speed, bro. Justice is cheese. 97 speed with the ball, 99 acceleration. Um, 91 reaction time, 95 stamina, and 97 foot, bro. This dude was undrafted, by the way. Like, yo, a lot of teams missed out. Of course, the sixth guy right here, Andrew Wiggins. His attribute, well, his overall actually went up. It was an 82 at first. Now it's an 83, so they probably have progression for your teammates, which is pretty dope. And the other people in the league, we are missing two starters right now. Carl Anthony Towns and Kevin Garnett are both injured, are both hurt. So we without those guys as of right now. But we did got we do got Gorgie Dang, and he a beast too, bro. This dude is super nice. I'm happy we got him in the starting lineup. Uh, and at some point, he was injured too, but he's finally back. Zach Levine, he's coming off the bench at six man. Ricky Rubio behind him. Chris Dunn, Jordan Hill. He was beast when Gorgie Dang was out, so I, I appreciate Jordan Hill. Even though I really hate the dude, but I, I appreciate that, that the way he stepped up. Uh, Cole Aldrich, Nikola Pekovic is finally getting minutes since those dudes are injured. And when um, Gorgie Dang was injured, Shabazz Muhammad was getting in minutes, but now he don't get no more minutes. He, he's back on the bench. But we waiting for Carl Anthony Towns to come back. You gotta hurry up and come back, dog. We need you out here in these streets. Kevin Garnett, you wanna know something weird about this, bro? Kevin Garnett was injured first, but yet his injury is gonna take longer to come back from. Like, it's, it's crazy. This old ass is almost done. He, he, he was hired in real life. He should have retired in the game, too, goddamn. Your boy, your ass, boy, you're trash. Look at my accolades so far. I'm just, I'm not even gonna scroll through all of these. I'm, just, I'm pretty sure y'all don't really care about these, so yeah, that's that. Um, Hall of Fame. I haven't done any of the Hall of Fame things yet, but I'm getting close, man. I'm getting close, man. I'm out here trying to do my thing. Then we're gonna scroll down to league leaders. I'm leading the league in points, man. I'm out here killing it. I'm nowhere to be found on the offensive rebounder list. The defensive rebounder list, though, I am second. Your boys out here hooping. A rebound on overall list, I am fourth on that list, man. As long as I'm in the top 10, I'm cool. The top five is even better. I'm leading the league in assists, 12.2, bro. I'm out here dishing that rock, you hear? Steals, I am third in the league in steals. Like I said, I'm good with top 10. The top five is even better. Nowhere to be found on the blocks list, but let me see if I'm top 10. Not even top 10, bro. There's a lot of shot blockers in the league right now, bro. There's a lot of shot blockers in the league, bro. Can I get top 50? Goddamn. So I am at least, <laughs> at least, uh, I am in top 50, but look at LeBron James, top five in blocks, bro. He going for that defensive play of the year. He haven't never won one in real life, but this might be the year he might win one in 2K. I'm leading the league in, in turnovers, but I, I find this progression because as you can see, most of the players, well, all of the players here are point guards, and I am kind of like the point guard for my squad. So eh, I can see this happening. And plus, I'm not too far away from Chris Paul. I'm not too far away from Chris Paul, who, who is, in my opinion, the best overall point guard. So yeah, I'm not too far away from him, you know what I'm saying? And plus, my, my turnovers went down. I was at like 5.5, so now it went down to 4.9. So I feel like that's an accomplishment, okay? Uh, my, my field goal percentage is second in the league, and that's behind goddamn um, DeAndre Jordan, which who just takes only nine shots per game. So I'm, I think I'm really doing good in that um, category. But my three-point percentage, man, not good at all, bro. I don't really shoot that many threes, to be honest. Free throw percentage is not that fire either since I got that 68 free throw rating that you can't even upgrade. But, yeah, man, that's the league leaders right there. And we're going to go over to uh, player stats. I'm just going to scroll through so you can see your favorite players. Look at this, man. This is disgusting, bro. Three players on a squad, bro, to averaging at least 20. And then two players av averaging at least 25, bro. This is the, bro. Anyway, keep going on. Uh, look at some of the other guys in the league. Ben Simmons is hurt for the season. Goddamn, Ben Simmons. Greg Monroe is hurt. Uh, Jimmy Butler is hurt. Goddamn, Kyrie Irving is out here killing it, man. Uh, Isaiah Thomas is hurt four weeks on that man Blake Griffin out here killing it 
Uh, just gonna keep scrolling through, keep scrolling through. Rudy Gay is hurt. Um, oh man, these are my guys right here in real life. This is my squad right here, man. I hope they can at least make the playoffs, maybe around like seven seed in real life. Let, let, let's get it, Knicks fans. Let's get it. Let's ball us up and get that. Uh, they go to Lakers. Keep going on, Dirk Nowinski. Brooke Lopez is out for four weeks. Paul George is good. And damn, James Harden is out here getting the buckets, bro. In real life, they're going to be starting this man at point guard. I'm curious to see how that's going to work out. T. Carly at the town's got eight weeks on his injury. So does Kevin Garnett, and he got the same goddamn injury, bro. Broken right ankles. This is disgusting. Here's a look at the conference leaders in the West. We second in the West behind Golden State, of course. And we even lost two games to them. So if we would have won those two games, beating them, we would have been first. But since we lost, yeah, we second. Anyway, we're going to keep scrolling down. The Thunder is in the eighth spot. Well, actually, no, they're not. The Lakers are in the eighth spot. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, yeah, the Lakers are in the eighth spot. That's crazy. OKC is not in the playoffs as of right now, man. That might happen in real life. As you can see, they lost to an overseas, overseas team the other day. So, yeah, that's kind of true. Uh, anyway, uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers have the, well, they don't have the best overall record, but they... They have the second best record in the league. We have the third, the followed by the Spurs, man. The Spurs, even without Tim Duncan, still getting it done. That's crazy. The rest of the league on the East. Let's check them out. My Knicks, 15 and 18, and still somehow managed to be at least making it in the playoffs. This is this is crazy. The East is trash. Uh, yeah, and that's the rest of the goddamn league right there. Let's see who the worst team in the league is. And then it's these goddamn Bucks. Then it's Dallas. Damn, Dallas, dirty. Goddamn, man. I know you tight. Now we about to check out the All Star voting. Um, Russell Westbrook and um, Stephen Curry, they keep passing each other up. So, pretty much, they both going to be starters anyway. They go to the front court. Me and Kevin Durant competing for that small forward spot. But most likely, me, AD, and um, Kevin Durant going to be starters in the All-Star game for the West. Then we're going to move on to the East. John Wall leading all guards. I didn't see that coming. I, I don't even think he was leading that originally. But John Wall leading all guards in the East. Dwayne Wade with the Bulls, so most likely that's probably going to be the starter lineup right there. And then go ahead to the front court, LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony, and Andre Drummond. Ooh, this 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 is actually going to be a fire matchup, man. Like, East versus West this year going to be super fire. I can't wait for it. But that's pretty much it for this attribute update. This dude, Denver, is still out like, bro, you don't got nowhere else to go. Like, I wasn't just playing with you that whole time. I was recording this attribute update. You still out here, bro. You... It's a shame, bro. Them green release falling, though, by the way. Like I said, man, watch that video, how to make more shots in my career and on the park, dog. Because I be getting a whole bunch of green releases. It's crazy. It's disgusting. The amount of green releases I be getting, man. So if you want to get green release like that, make sure you go watch that video. Also, you already see where my jump shot is. So you ain't got to ask that question. But you already know how we end up all my attribute updates, man. I already say you always take that half foot shot. But I make it. Everybody that watched this video, owe your boy a dollar. And you might as well start paying. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. But anyway, man, it's been real. You know what I'm saying? This is your first time watching Stax Montana video. First of all, slap the shit up out yourself. So you should have known about me earlier. Then go ahead and subscribe. If you want to see more of my career videos featuring the sixth god himself, Killer Cam Baker, make sure you leave a like on this one. It lets me know you're enjoying the series, and I definitely keep posting more. But until next time, players, real niggas stay up and I am out. Swag team, bitch. Zombie game. Cuz, and I'm getting greens on greens on greens. Let's go.